Good morning. Good morning. Afternoon, evening. Uh, I'm just gonna jump straight into mapping, by the way, because I need money. And by money, I mean gold. Gold, 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 gold. Are you gold? You will be. By the way, I peer beat my build. It's like seven, eight mil or so. But with the, you know, with all the uh, conditionals up, of course. Not including war banner. Didn't don't even need war banner. So yeah, the build's dam is um very potent. And the reason why my damage is not better, by the way, is my weapon. My, the weapon is such a huge multiplier to have like a really, 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 really good one. I think that's gonna be my league goal is to make a big weapon. Because it just seems like such a huge multiplier to the build's power. Yeah, there's the gold notification, boys. Oh, wow, they, I think they all sold. Pork? Oh my god, my shit's selling. Oh, I have nine more, too. Oh my god. Yo, it's working. It's working. Oh, fun trading. Dude, that's so cool. Waking up and you've got... 280 chaos just sitting there oh that's so nice man oh my gosh yeah definitely the, the trick to making the big boy axe is gonna be spamming a thousand deafening of contempts into hybrid i wish i got ari's axe oh well i, I guess at least i can technically make um a better axe in theory I just need a 30 quality sunder axe to exist that multi is t81 i think so yeah, I think an 83 Sundering Axe Fractured is what I need. Well, I'm gonna Fracture it myself with Fracturing Orbs. Isn't an Elder the ideal base? No. I mean, to be fair, I'd have to be a be it, but I'm pretty sure you can get six good mods that beat Elder mods because Elder mods got uh, nerfed. Can you just recombinate Fractures now? Nope. I don't understand how Recombinators work yet. But supposedly, anything good doesn't work anymore. So fractures don't work, essences don't work. Like essentially, um, they're not they're not the same recombinators from Sentinel. I don't think recombinators are dog water, by the way. I mean, I don't know if they're dog water. They just don't do the same like OP like like just spam deafening essences and make perfect gear bullshit. I'm assuming you can still make crazy, crazy, crazy gear from recombinators. Maybe people just don't have the recombinating thing high enough level yet. Alright, so rather than do some big boy shipments, we're gonna do some plebby boys, I think. Alright, this one's the worst by far. We have 10, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. Oh my god. Look at this guy. Look, look at this one. This one's potent. Nine, eight, 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 seven. I only have one seven remaining. All right. Well, that's good to know. I don't really need sevens anymore, and I have a fucking lot of sevens. All right. Um, let's go to Pondium with a big shipment on. Let's go with the high level one. All right. You got this, buddy. One thirty eight far port. I need exactly. We'll just do like five point two k, five point two k orocalcum, and then I need thirty six thousand corn. It's a two mil shipment with multipliers and it will complete on Pondium. All right. You got this, buddy. You fucking got this. Give me something good. I only put like half in because they cost months even if not working. Wait, not you too, Vero. He doesn't know. Okay, we spent about one hour on testing this. We had multiple people um, putting screenshots before, after, waiting. Doing this, doing that. Basically, it's confirmed in game, this is like a tooltip, that if you put all of them on Veritasium, they will work on all your ores. Like all of them. Or vice versa. If you if they complete Yeah, if if all your ore is at zero, if all of it's at zero, they do not cost upkeep. There's a um there's a delay when you take them off. It's like a, um, it, it takes time to update. They 100% do not cost, you can have all of them assigned to ore, and as long as there's no ore, they will not actually cost up to you. All right, no CB, but softcore baby. This could be a mistake from CPS. Uh, it's like seven, eight million with um, max exertion. I'm very happy with the damage. 
very, very happy with the damage. I can get um, literally so much more damage when I have better gear. My gear is very not like optimized. Like very, 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 very not optimized. Easy. Steal. Oh! Oh shit! You got a Calandra's touch! The formed? That's so easy. Well, you all oh, but. The petrification's kinda cancer though. Oh yeah, comms boots, yeah. That's fine. Yo, that's free as. I am extremely, extremely, extremely confident in how shipments work now. I think I've like actually unironically no mean figured out how it works. You know how dust uh, works, chat? The en the enchanted dust when you when you ship it. The first like 50 gives you like 50% more loot. The first 550 gives you double. And if you go all the or something like that, and if you go all the way to 8,000, it will it will give you triple, right? And so on and so forth. Essentially, it gets um, massive diminishing returns the more you put in, right? I'm pretty sure shipments work the exact same way. TLDR, the more you send, you do get more loot, but not much more loot. So what you should be doing, in my opinion... Now, I don't know what the magical number would be, but let's say 60k. I think you should be doing shipments of 60k... Uh, what do you call it? Crops? Plus dust? And that's it. And no more. That's it. Yeah, my point is the mirror shard guy did not get a mirror shard because he sent one mil. He sent a he got a mirror shard because he sent a shipment. Again, um, if you need a visual way of understanding how it works, look at enchanting dust. So there's a theory. If you look at the value of dust, right? So let's just um, where is it? So let's let's put this at 5k, right? Now watch this, really. 55 doubles it. Yeah, 550 is 2.5. And then in order to go up the same amount, I have to go all the way to 8250, right? And if I put literally another zero, if I go all, look, 77,000 basically does nothing compared to 850, right? So here's the theory, here's the theory. It works the same with the rewards as well. That's my theory. So instead of sending all your juice, like instead of doing this, right, this would be regarded, right? Right? Because this is a value of 6 million. So you would, would you logically conclude I'm getting, let's say the shipment was 60k, would you say I'm getting 100 times the loot, chat? So instead of getting like a divine orb, I should get 100 divine orbs. No, obviously not. It doesn't work that way. Obviously, right? I think we. I think this. Uh, that's obvious. Otherwise, we would have Reddit threads of a hundred divine shipments. So the way it actually works, right? The shipment value is the same as the dust value, and so you don't want to put too much in. You want to do something like sixty k all the time. Just pump out. So again, this was blue xanthinium, right? Maybe like uh. Yeah, let, let's just do 1250, 550. In my opinion, this is probably like, what, a third of the loot, maybe half the loot of 6 million. That's my guess. 6 million, a hundred times the shipment value. 6 million is only like maybe three times more loot. That's stupid. Why does it work that way? That's stupid. Why are they? Like, why would I ever send six million? You know how long it takes to get that much shit? Like three fucking days, bro. Now, that's the only thing I need to test. Does multiple crop types give you the multiplier because they're separate crop types? So 500 of each. Well, I haven't, I haven't uh, tested that. That's the only thing I don't know is, is 500 of each crop better? I think it is though. I, I doubt. I doubt it's... yeah. It makes so much sense now. Oh my god. It makes so much sense now. Like, should you be putting in only 
wheat to a thousand or should you be distributing it distributing it between um wheat and bars or should you be you know what i mean that's that's what we need to test i think now i don't know if distance changes anything but it doesn't seem to yeah by the way uh i didn't mention it yet i was just kind of waiting to say it but veracity and the clan car crew have actually managed to complete eight out of eight challenges already so they are well i should say veracity because it's obviously it's a solo challenge they definitely helped each other though but veracity is the first person to get eight out of eight from chat sf so they will win or veracity will win the uh the div card uh, uh collaboration i regret not doing the no hit thing to my dear now <laughs> Uh, just a spanner in the works. That would have been a real cuck move. Or maybe he would have just crushed it, who knows. Veracity is the person who won the PC in the Gauntlet giveaway, by the way. Oh, wow. That's cool. A gamer. Yeah, there's still obviously 19 spots for the Chad SF uh, t-shirt, so... I don't know if he's seen the shirt as well, but, um... I mean, we, we have the, we have the, like, rough design. I kind of hope I get top 20 actually, so I get one of the t-shirts. I would probably exclude myself from top 20 though. I would just like, I would allow myself to wear the t-shirt. If I don't get top 20, I'm not allowed to wear the t-shirt though. Just get yourself one. I'm only allowed to get myself one if I get top 20, but I'm not going to put myself on top 20. Do you know what I mean? If that makes sense. Beautiful mate, beautiful. All right, so if my theory is correct, this, th this shipment should give me something like one, like maybe one to two Chaos Orbs, you know, three Alks, Regret, stuff like that. With a chance at a, um, a higher tier currency, Exalt, a Null Divine. Now the important thing to test, I don't think this theory needs testing, but this theory, the next theory needs testing. Sending multiple different crop types to see if you get uh, more like bigger stacks of currency because if I only get double the loot with five different crop types Then it would seem to suggest that they're all one pool But if I actually get 5x the loot, then you should be sending multiple different crop types That I think would be news So this is the first yeah, see look literally look I told you like the, the, the small baby dick shipments are totally pretty much the exact same loot as the big boy ones. Anyway, this is shipment number one. And this is shipment number two. These were the same, by the way. They were even the same crop type. So now now the theory we want to test, right? This Now this, this is the potent one. Are you ready? So again, 550. But now we're going to do 1,200 of all. The idea is this, if we get like a noticeably larger, like not like 50% more, if we get a noticeably larger, like instead of getting like one elk, two chaos, if we're getting like 10 chaos and like, you know, five elks, right? That's, that's what we want. That's what we want to notice. I mean, we'll do two tests here. Oops. Fuck. All right, Prage boys, Prage. Yeah, we're not after anything big. I literally just want the stack sizes to be bigger. I mean, that looks almost... I mean... I'll, I'll have to bring... All right, we have to bring up... Because that's five Alks, five Fusings, two Chaos. Maybe I just low-rolled the Chaos. Eight. I mean, we'll have to, we'll have to look it up. But that I don't know if that was five X. All right, here we go, chat. You ready? This is the comparison. So left was the small one, and right was the the bigger one. I'm you are hundred percent. Wait, you are getting more, like a lot more. I, I'm getting a little bit like debated by the chaos and the divines, but I think you are getting more. 
first shipment you showed is 26 items, the second is 31, the third is 115, and the fourth is 118. I think I figured it out then. It totally is. Look at the org stacks. The orgs are giving me, where is it? 21 and 16 versus four and four. Oh yeah, now it's, okay, okay. You ready guys? All right, you ready? So this is how you should do the leak mechanic. You should ship to a port, right? With a multi- I assume the multipliers are still worth, right? So this is a good port, for example. It's quick, it gives you a massive multiplier. I still think those are worth going for. But, right, now let's let's take a- let's select it, right? Now looking at this, you would assume you should send only pumpkin and ore god, right? With like- th so this is what people are- <coughs> This is what people are doing, right? All good pumpkin, right? Now you would assume this is good, right? Three million value, massive multipliers, right? So you would think logically that this is gonna give me like 50 times more loot. The answer is no. This is what you should do. 1250, maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little tiny bit more than that. Maybe, maybe like, maybe a tiny bit more. We could do like 2500 maybe. Right? But but no big no big peepee -pee though. No big peepee. -pee. Because it has giga 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 diminishing returns the same way dust does. Oh I need more blue xanthinium. I will put more of that, but yeah, I should get more blue. This right here Honestly this is too much even. This is honestly too much even. I'm gonna do it though, I'm gonna do it though. But the point is you should be doing all crops, because crops are OP. You should be doing all crops. And you should be limiting it to like maybe 1200. No metals? That's actually very interesting. I bet you this chat, I bet you based off what we just tested, that you should also be doing this right here. I don't think ores, I think ores and bars are the same. But this will actually give you more value than the one, you know how I just showed you a shipment value of 3 million? The 3 million value is worse than this by a lot. By, by a lot, it's all like by a lot worse. Does that make sense now? No, uh, you could do 8,250 of everything. That's correct. I, I think dust is just a multiplier. I think you should be doing dust. Oh, I do think dust is good. Anyway, we're gonna do one more test. You see crimson, yep, 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 yep. yep. So this is the final, all right, I, I, unfortunately I don't have more blue. It is what it is. In theory, it doesn't even matter that much. Now, if this works the way I think it works, this should be the most potent one yet. Anyway, I think I, I if this, I, I, assuming this works, I think I figured out the mechanic. It's, it's just not really, it just doesn't scale super, super Omega well. You should check out what came in from the carnage. Wow, I got a sacred orb. I mean, that's significantly rarer than a lot of things. Holy shit. It does feel good to have essentially figured out the league mechanic. <laughs> So you're telling me it's not worth doing 2.5 mil shipments? Correct. That is indeed what I'm saying. Your shipment value should be something like 300k if you've done it correctly. It could be a bit more or a bit less, but those big massive shipments, they don't give you like, I, I, here's a good, I, I'll, I'll give you a conclusive evidence of why this is the case. Are you ready? So do you know how the baby dick shipments have been getting like divine orbs and chaos orbs, right? How come we've never seen a shipment that, that, like the, we've had shipments as large as like 15 million, right? How come the 15 million value shipments, which have like what? How much? Like 300 times the loot, right? They have 300 times as much uh, corn and wheat and shit, right? How come they're not getting 300 divine orbs? Well, not, that's a bit exaggeratory, but you get the idea. Like they're not getting 300 times the like loot in the window, right? Cause that would, that would be very noticeable. If you were getting linear loot, it would be very noticeable. Cause you would put in twice as much stuff and get twice as much loot. If you would put in 300 times as much loot, you would get 300 times much back, right? It would be very obvious. You'd be getting like hundreds of chaos. You'd be getting thousands of orgs You'd be getting thousands of alts. You'd be getting like stacks of divines, right? But that's not how it works. I mean, obviously, right? In hindsight, it's extremely obvious. Like, of course not. 
Yeah, another another way of understanding it is do you guys know how the dust works, chat? Like if you use 55 dust, you get double the loot. If you use 550 dust, you get 2.5 times the loot. And if you use 8,250, like 80 times the dust of the double multiplier, it goes from 2x to 3x. 80 times more dust. Yeah, it's the same with corn and wheat and blue xanthinium. It's the same shit. It's the same shit. I leave you in the background and it sounds like I'm listening to a conspiracy theory podcast. Think about it, Chad. Just think about it. Like, think about it. Like, wake up. Like, of course, of course it works this way. Like, it just makes sense if you think about it. Like, think <laughs> Lizard people. They're everywhere. Alright, Chad, I need a break. So I will go AFK for a minute. I'm just gonna stretch, have something to drink. So I'll be right back. Um, give me a minute. Good break, Chad.